Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about uh, having a, a chatbot that you can talk to on a Mac computer. And uh, I'm going to have to stop talking to you once I start the program up because then it's going to do things. So this is just a, a demonstration. This is the initial version. Uh, I think that uh, it's going to get better, but it's going to take a while. So let's let's give it a try. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with or would you like to chat? What's the capital of France? France is Paris. All right, so I, I stopped it there because the pauses are just too great. But what's happening here is that I'm using Whisper. Uh, actually, well, let me show you the, the code. That's the easiest way. So there's almost no code here. It's, it's uh, deceptively uh, tiny, this program here. So I'm using this uh, Pi Whisper CPP uh, module uh, that you have to do a pip install Pi Whisper CPP uh, to get that in here. I don't need logging. I can take this out here. That was something I had in there for a test. Uh, and I import subprocess. And then from langchain.llms, I import a llama. I'm setting the llama model to llama2. And then I create a, uh, a function uh, called chatter. And what this does is it takes some input. That's the name of the variable inputter. And then it produces a result uh, by sending inputter to llm.predict. And of course, llm was set up here to llama2 through a llama. And then I print the results. And then I add um a couple of times to the front of it. Uh, the reason I do this is because the say command has a long pause and it cuts off uh, it cuts off some of what's being said. So I'm just trying to waste a little bit of time there. And and then of course uh, I run the say command with new res and uh, then here, I set up my assistant, and my assistant is equal to assistant commands callback equals chatter, number of threads equals eight. Maybe I can change that. Maybe fewer threads would work better, uh, be a little faster, since this, this CPU is it's got six cores. So why don't I change this here? to six and see if that helps or maybe four would be even better and then i start the assistant and the assistant is what is using whisper uh, to do the uh what they call transcription and of course it's very verbose there's probably a way to set the verbosity to be less uh, but i don't know how to do that yet also, one of the problems with running Olama this way is that it isn't streaming. It waits until the entire, entire response is returned. So if the entire response is a thousand tokens, it's going to take a little while for that to generate. And then, of course, it will get passed back uh, to uh, the sub, it'll get passed to sub process. Uh, to run say, uh, and also uh, to print it out here. Uh, so if I can 
set this up so that uh, we're doing streaming rather than waiting for the entire result to come back. So in other words, seeing each token as it's presented, then the problem becomes, can I pass that to say in bits? Um, it would be nice if I could generate a few tokens at a time and say those and then a few more tokens. Uh, even better if I could generate a sentence at a time and then say it. So anyway, the say command is, is rotten. Uh, there are other ways to do this. There's uh, uh, Google text-to-speech, for example. But that has to go out into the cloud and then come back, so that takes even more time. So anyway, this is a basic chatbot. Uh, but it needs it needs work. If you have any ideas, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, and bye-bye.